hold your breath about now. This is my 20th dive of the day. I'm working the sand in front of boulders. Um, I try to stay well ahead of the structures. On most dives, all I see is sand since the visibility is limited to about seven meters. The area where I'm diving starts shallow at about 18 meters or 60 feet and gradually goes down to a maximum depth of 24 meters or 80 feet. Here I'm at the deepest point. My watch says 23.8 meters. Each time I go down, I sand, I grunt, and I'm left with my thoughts. Apart from the seagrass worms, uh, there is no life. Uh, it's another sign of the decline of Baja. Uh, this place where I am right now is entirely dead. Uh, it's with very little hope that I'm waiting for Almaco Jacks. <laughs> I shoot it at less than two meters. It's a good shot, but this fish is not dead. Uh, so I move the surface promptly. I have 60 meters of line, but I don't want to get spooled. Uh, it's always a good thing if I can limit the amount of line floating around me. Also, it gives me some line in case the fish decides to take me for a ride. You, you don't want to be at the end of the line and just like uh, have only underwater to go. I can barely hold this fish. I lose some line, grab a little back. It takes a while before I take, I, I grab more back than it, I, I give out. It, it's not like I want to hold, uh, to lock my hold, uh, twist the line around my hands, for example. For one thing, I would likely be taken underwater, but also I don't want to lose the fish or even bend the shaft if I can prevent it. Even if I could, uh, would I really want to bring the fish to the surface when it's in f when it's full of energy? Uh, these things are difficult to handle, even when uh, they are tired. It, it's unlikely to go well if you try to get your hands in their gills at, at only a few seconds after shooting a large armaco. Better let it calm down a little. There is quite a bit of time not shown here where I try to dispatch this fish. Um, you have to be very patient, move slowly, and somehow get that blade in the right spot in their heads. This is not easy, and most spearfishing knives uh, don't really have a blade long enough to do this easily. You wouldn't want to carry a knife that would have a blade long enough anyway, because it's very rare that you need such a long blade. It felt like a 90, but was only 80 pounds. It's very difficult to tell the size of these fish when underwater and not much easier on the surface. I was still very happy. I had my Almaco for the season and I was heading back to Canada only like a week later. Uh, too bad I didn't break my 100 pound uh, limit. Maybe next year. <laughs>